All right, I'm gonna do a quick demo of implementing Passage into a simple application. So I have a node application here, um, and I want to obviously add authentication into this box here. So if I go to the Passage console and I sign in, I have a node example. So I've already had this set up, but I have an application ID, I have API keys, I can configure a number of different settings for my login, what types of backup options I want, how I want the web authn done, all sorts of things. Um, and I will just take this application ID and, and put it as an environment variable in my application. So then I come over to my app and I'm just gonna put these two lines of code in. So we use web components or custom with a custom element so that um, this will work across any framework, language, anything like that. And so this web component here renders our entire custom login flow. It handles fallbacks, it handles um, detecting which browsers support WebAuthn, uh, maybe even in different ways. It kind of handles that entire process for you since that really is you know, the hard part. So now if I wanna go create an account, I can then go register with a passkey. This is sort of the, the view as an end user, if you will. So I can use that passkey. I've successfully signed in and my username you know, is right there. Um, if I wanna come back, I can go back and log in. Um, we do this, we, can, we also support um, conditional UI where available, but this is a, an older version of Chrome, so it doesn't. So if I want to kpng ID, and then uh, here we go, I can log in like this. Uh, and so that's kind of a little bit of the uh, user experience there at the end. As you saw from a developer perspective, you really just have you know this front end that you have to add, and then um, in your in your back end, you're essentially just going to write a middleware that looks a little something like this, and it uses our SDK to authenticate a request. We will um, you know, check the jots, make sure everything is good to go there. You can um, fetch user information, you can update user information, all the kind of standard you know authentication, user management type of things you need to do. We'll have SDKs to help make that easy. And so you'll protect all of your authenticated routes with something that looks like this. And, and that's kind of the, the basics of implementation, front end and back end. And then obviously for some of the more custom use cases we've been talking about, um, you would use our SDK directly to kind of build out those specific use cases in, in more of a non-standard way.